So what is gamification? Well, gamification is the process of using game thinking and game mechanics to engage audiences and solve problems. In a sort of simple way, it's taking the lessons that game designers have learned over 30 years of the digital game business and applying them to contexts that aren't typically thought of as games. Uh, so what are some of the best examples or the most known examples of it? Probably uh, in the technology industry, the most obvious example is Foursquare, right? Mm -hmm. Which comes after two generations of mobile social networks that sort of failed, including the previous startups of Dennis and Naveen, mm -hmm. Dodgeball. Uh, and they effectively brought a game mechanic or a series of game mechanics in like the mayor and badges in order to solve a core problem in the design of mobile social networks, which is if there aren't enough people located near each other synchronously at the same time mm -hmm. to make something like, hey, I'm here, let's go for a beer, actually work in real life, you need to do something else so that enough people enter that system so that that interaction is meaningful. Okay. Another good example is probably Nike Plus that's had a mm -hmm. big broad effect on people. With the inclusion of small quantified self technology that gives you feedback, biofeedback on your uh, running and other physical activities, Nike built a completely gamified system with levels, badges, leaderboards, challenges, rewards for people who run frequently. But like many early examples, Nike Plus uh, doesn't really address the whole market. As an example, I can't progress past the first level in Nike Plus because sure. I'm just not fit enough to make right, that happen. Right. No, I, I see. So you mentioned badges a couple times, yeah. and there are differing viewpoints on those. What, what's your take on badges? Are they useful? Well, broadly speaking, I think we're in an era now that I, I sometimes jokingly call badge and Freude, where people look at online badges like those given in Foursquare and think, oh, all badges suck. But mm -hmm. the truth is, badges are really important in the real world. You know, there's a, there's a reason why the Boy Scouts and the military rely so heavily mm -hmm. on insignia, mm -hmm. and also why that thing on the back of a car that tells you the model and make of it is called a badge, mm -hmm. because badges in the real world are actually really super important. So we have a couple of badging systems that are extant, like Foursquares, that haven't really been innovated on in a couple of years, mm -hmm. and if they had kept pace, I think, with the market, they would seem more meaningful. Now, all that having been said, badges are not sufficient to make a gamified system meaningful. What's most important is understanding the player's journey. That's where we start mm -hmm. in the whole process. Mm -hmm. What is the individual journey that a player is on, that a given user is on, when they come to your system? And the objective when gamifying whatever your product or service is, whether it's travel related, finance related, or health related, for example, is to understand the player's individual journey, then design a system that actually takes them on that journey as part of your own experience, as part of your brand's experience. If you become the Sherpa, in the mm -hmm. player's journey up the mountain, their personal journey up the mountain, they'll be loyal to you forever. And that's really the, the most valuable kind of design framework for gamification. And then there are all these mechanics that we use, like points, levels, badges, leaderboards, mm -hmm. uh, to make it meaningful and to create interaction. So last question I have for you. Sure. Are there industries or examples where gamification would not apply? I get asked this question a lot, Mac, to be honest. And I think, uh, you know, I think let's just take a, an example together that you know, we can work through mm -hmm. while we think about it. So for example, cancer. Cancer doesn't seem like fun at all. And so we'd say, typically, we'd say we wouldn't want to add a game experience to something like cancer. But we know that when patients are presented with a reward system that incentivizes them to take their medicine and appear for medical appointments on time, mm -hmm. they improve their adherence to the protocol. Right. And we know that when professionals like doctors are given incentives and rewards to make sure that they follow appropriate protocols for patient treatment and care, that results go up. So while I'm not advocating, and I would never advocate that we turn cancer itself into a game, broadly speaking, yeah. by using some of those lessons of game design, we can improve outcomes for something like cancer. And so to answer your question in a long roundabout way, I don't think there's any experience that wouldn't benefit from gamification. And if such an experience exists, I've, I've yet to experience it myself. Interesting. Well, thank you very much for being with us. Thank Appreciate you. it.